here's a band called Pissed Jeans. That seems compelling. Listen to this entire album by Pissed Jeans, and I was like, wow. Here's the thing, like the the it's the the description of it that got me. Right? So their new album is called Why Love Now. And it's a male-fronted quartet. And here's the ethos of the album. They're taking aim at the mundane discomforts of modern life. From fetish webcams to office supply deliveries. Once I read that, I had to keep going, right? So I, I love what they have to say here in this Sub Pop article says rock bands can retreat to the safety of what rock bands usually sing about so 60 years from now when no one has a telephone bands will be writing songs like i'm waiting for her to call me on my telephone and kids are going to be like grandpa please tell me what was that and right there i was hooked i'd rather not shy away from talking about the internet or interactions in 2016 says Piss Jeans frontman Matt Corvette. So it says Piss Jeans is an amalgamation of uh, sludge, punk, noise, and, and that's what they are. They're, they're just a wildly raucous band. And they're, it says it's a band, it's a release valve for a world where absurdity seems in a constant battle trying to outdo itself. Well, wow. How could you not be compelled by that? It says, why love now picks at the bursting seams that are barely holding 21st century life together? Take the grinding rave up, the bar is low, which according to Corvette is about how every guy seems to be revealing themselves as a shithead. He says, it seems like every guy is getting outed across every board of entertainment and politics and music. There's no guy that isn't a total creep. You're like, no, nah, he's just a dude that hits on drunk girls, drunk girls and has sex with them when they're asleep. Oh, cool. He's just an average shithead. <laughs> I'm compelled by that. I'm compelled. And the lyrics are... are incredible on on this album they they really are just nuts he goes on and says it's bizarre how guys will willingly share stuff that they shouldn't share like it's the endless unre unrequested commenting on if you do it with someone right yeah my great aunt won a cooking contest says corvette Oh, that's pretty hot. I'd hit that. <laughs> it's terrible, right? And so it's bizarre how guys will willingly share this stuff as if it's always in their brains. And now it gets to come out because you're on the internet. There's a boldness to it now that maybe wasn't there before. So the premise is like, yeah, she's hot. But her knees are weird looking. Not for me, man. About the song, It's Your Knees. And then, like, he's got a song called Love Without Emotion where he, um, where he goes on about, um, about fetish cams, like, um, where the woman just ignores you and watches TV or eats macaroni and cheese or talks on the phone. I love this idea of guys paying to be ignored. It just seems so weird, and it does, doesn't it? And he's just got amazing lyrics. So you're going to hear it. I've got two songs for you. Um, one of them is Have You Ever Been Furniture? And one of them is I'm a Man. I'm going to play I'm a Man first. Also, this album was um, produced by Lydia Lunch. And you can tell. And what they have to say about Lydia Lunch is awesome. He said, I knew she wasn't a traditional producer, but we wanted to mix it up a little bit. I like how she's so cool and really intimidating. I didn't know how it was going to work out. She ended up being so fucking awesome and crazy. She was super into it, constantly threatening to bend us over the bathtub. 
I'm not really sure what that entails, but I know she wasn't joking. <laughs> I can imagine this, and this is fantastic. The imagining of it is part of the win about this entire band, Piss Jeans. They're just awesome. You're going to love this. Okay, so I'm a man is an exposition of uh, talking to your, what shall we call him? Your, your absolutely unacceptable, like, office boss what maybe what's really going through and said like the the stereotypical terrible terrible man it reminds me of uh, it reminds me of tim and eric's um carol the office lady if you've seen this sketch it reminds me of that and then uh have you ever been furniture is a lambasting of the modern workforce and jobs like where you just get treated like furniture and how demoralizing it is but i i'm just i really i'm really taken with the songs on this i love the lyrics of all of them it's winning it's very winning it's the same reason that i like the den of torturers back in the day where i would just listen to it and be like what did somebody seriously put that in a song oh my god i love this so i i i think you're gonna love it it's very wild, raucous music. That's what you're here for anyway, because you're here for a sub-pop records. Exposition, exploration, whatever. So let's, let's have two songs by Piss Jeans. You're going to like this. <laughs> 